Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be all about 2022 Christmas trends, so stay tuned. Number one is paper decorations. You're gonna see a lot of paper chains, paper stars, paper ornaments. I love this. This is perfect for people who love to do it yourself. And also it's great to do with kids. Super easy and super inexpensive. To me, it's a major throwback. Number two, colorful Christmas and festival colors. We're gonna see a lot of beautiful colors, bright and happy. This is great for those of you who just love to embrace color. This is great for kids and their trees. You're gonna see a lot of different mixes of colors, different ribbons, plaids with solid velvets, whole new level of color this year, and I absolutely love it. Number three, going to see a lot of blue and gold. Now, um, for the blue, think more Ralph Lauren and kind of a soft blue, not a very bright blue. You're going to see a lot of plaid, a lot of soft brass. These colors are very traditional and very beautiful when they pop off of a green tree. Number four, scented wrapping paper. Have you heard about this? One of the biggest vendors we carry at JD's is Times and they have come out with the scented wrapping paper in Fraser fur. That's probably one of my very favorite Christmas candles. And the thing I love about this idea, I really think it's gonna blow up, but the thing I like about it is how many of you have bought those little pine sticks that smell like pine and you put it inside of your Christmas tree and it may not have been the best smelling pine? Well, Times wrapping paper is gonna take that to a whole new level. Imagine walking past your tree and it's just smelling like Fraser fur. Yeah, I've got mine on order. Number five is velvet. Not only have we seen velvet hit the design in furniture and pillows, it is hitting Christmas just as hard. And I'm telling you, I love it. From velvet ornaments, there's velvet ribbon now, very thin. This is beautiful when you make a bow with long tails. Say you're putting a garland on your stairs and you only add that velvet ribbon. It is so rich and luscious. I love that as well. Number six is sage and gold. Here is another beautiful color mix. It's almost a mint green. I saw a lot of it at market. And the thing I love about this is when you put that color on a Christmas tree, your Christmas tree is already kind of a dark pine look. This gives another color, another dimension, a monochromatic look, but it makes your tree look like a designer tree and puts it over the top. Number seven, the trend this year is asymmetrical garland on the mantle. It's where they have the garland more on one side of the mantle and they have stockings hanging on the other side or maybe bells. This is a beautiful, unique way to decorate your mantle and you're gonna see a lot of that this year. Number eight is neutral and organic tones. I'm seeing a lot of wood tones, a lot of concrete in designs. When I was at market, I bought a lot of large Christmas ornaments that really looked like concrete glaze. They were light, but they were absolutely beautiful. And another example is snow villages. Now, a lot of snow villages that are out there, they're all in one tone color, in one finish, and it's a very soft and visually uncluttered look. Number nine is modern Christmas tree figurines. They are cone shaped. They really have a Scandinavian feel, not a lot of color, but they have a really unique look. And again, it kind of adds to that visual uncluttered look when it comes to the Christmas decorations. Number 10, bells are super hot. Brass bells, not silver, but we see brass bells hanging from the middle of a wreath put on a garland, maybe at the end of the stairs, and also on mantles, maybe just on the edges of the mantle where the garland swags, but bells are super hot this year. Now, all of these new trends might not be your style. I'm the same way, but I don't know if you're this way, but at the end of Christmas and I bought some new things, I'm like, okay, I've got everything I need. I don't need anything new. 
and then I open my boxes up the next year and I see what's new out there and yep I'm adding to my Christmas collection so it's always fun to just see what's out there and what new trends are coming up don't forget I've got a new channel it's under Jennifer Davenport it's a channel that's dedicated to anybody who's interested in becoming an interior designer. I've written a course all about that. All right, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure to do that and hit the bell because more Christmas is coming your way.